Look at that. Look at those teeth on that guy. Wow. Hello again, my fellow fishalots, and of course, welcome to another edition of Fishing with Johnny Fishalot. The moral of today's story in today's video is just have fun catching fish. They don't always have to be monster fish. They don't, have, they don't always have to be trophy fish, but it's always a good time to get out, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy a nice sunset, and just catch what, whatever is available. So in this case, I got done work. I had about 30 minutes of daylight left. You're not allowed to fish on this pier after dark, by the way. So I just headed out, had a few minutes, and caught a few fish. If you're new here, my name is John, and I'm the chief resident fishalot here at Fishing with Johnny Fishalot. My goal is to bring to you over 30 years of fishing experience. Eight of those years were spent professionally fishing, where I had to fish every single day in order to make money so that you can learn much quicker than I did over those 30 years, and you can catch more fish in less time maximizing your time out on the water. I understand everybody these days is extremely busy with work, with family commitments, school, you name it. So my overall goal is to help you enjoy your time out on the water. And stick around to the end of the video where I will show you a very interesting slam. All right, let's get into it. There you go, little snapper blue. There you go. And he'll be just fine as he swims off, slightly inconvenienced. All I'm doing is giving it a sharp pull and letting it flutter down. Sharp pull and letting it flutter down. Up oh, here they are right here. Look at these, look at the bluefish right here. There they are, chasing it, chasing it. Not getting it. <laughs> look at them chasing it. Uh, it's fun stuff. I think that's a gar again. No, it's bluefish. Oh, whoop. Look at all those bluefish down there. Now it makes make it look like it's dead. Look at all those fish. There he goes. Oh, got one. <laughs> Quick release. These are really small fish, but hey, it's a lot of fun. Well, let's see what else we get here. You can see them uh, chasing it the whole way in. Yep, oh, just had one. Oh. Look at them, they are just swarming all over it. There he goes, got a little one. I feel bad for any of these silver sides in here. Look at them, there they are there. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. Another great tip here besides enjoying the beautiful weather, this, uh, this was filmed in early October, is of course you could practice just uh, different retrieve techniques that trigger fish. See, there you go right there. You could see the rod movement when the bluefish hit. And, um, you know, I filmed a previous episode and fishing with Johnny Fishlot where I'm in a pond fishing for largemouth bass and the same technique was also very effective with a paddle tail with a much less aggressive fish where I just slowed down the technique and was able to trigger bites using a pause where the paddle tail would just pause slightly and continue the retrieve and the fish would hit so this is a little faster application of that but you could tell you know, it's just a great way, especially if you're beginning to fish, a great way to sort out different retrieves and how the fish react to your retrieve speed, pausing the baits, different ways to trigger bites. Yeah, there's another one. And um, you can even do this with ultralight. Look, there's bluefish trying to grab the lure out of this one's mouth. And, uh, oh, quick release. Just like I like. Oh, I got me the gar. There we go. Long nose gar. I don't even know how I got the hook. Now, this is a cool fish, if anybody hasn't seen one of these guys before. Look at that guy. They do bite. Look at that. Look at those teeth on that guy. Wow. Take a look at those chompers there. Oops. There you go. Take a look at those. What a cool fish. Look at those teeth. If you could see them. Oh yeah. They're just chomping up some fish down there. Oop. And there he goes. Let's see if we get another one. So quick tip here. So give a couple quick jerks 
and then all the fish are hitting on the way down especially after you feel uh, a tick like a swirl behind it i'll show you exactly what i mean here so i'm in the water and i'm giving it uh some tough jerks like that right and then i let it sink a couple of quick jerks and i let it sink now when you're going fast and then you see the swirls behind the lure that's when i let it sink and that's when i've been getting most most of the actual hookups there we go there you go there's another one that's exactly what happened i just let it sit picked up a little baby this is a baby baby my goodness okay okay all right buddy hold on hold on i'll get you i'll get you on hot terror Whew. boy he grabbed every bit of that hook Be up there it goes <laughs> another gar it's always a good time just to uh be outside wow that gar came flying up out of the water too didn't he and you catch some cool fish right so if you got kids see so you catch something like this gar right here and the kids love to watch them they're cool looking fish now let's flip them up look at those teeth man they got some chompers don't they look at that And again, really cool fish. Look at those teeth. <laughs> those teeth are just nasty. Cool fish. And off he goes. Oh, there's another one. Is that another gar? Might be. Uh, it's a blue fish. What is that? It's not a blue. Oh, a little lady fish. Variety of microfish. There we go. These are uh, super aggressive and cool fish. <laughs> Again, look at that guy's teeth. Boop, boop. It's got him in my mouth. Oh, no, oh, I was going to show him to you, but he flipped out of my hands. I always tend to keep the fish over the side when I'm trying to show them, just in case they do flip out of my hands, they end up flipping into the water. But look at this variety we're getting. You see, so you get 30 minutes of break, you get to come out, might as well fool around, grab some light gear, take the kids out, catch some gar, some bluefish, some lizard fish. I said ladyfish, that was actually a lizard fish. There's another one. All right, fish lots, that'll about do it for us today. Again, this was just a quick one, and I had a short amount of time after work to fish, and it's always a fun time to be out and enjoy Mother Nature and watch those fish do their thing. And also, it's important to know that sometimes you just need to fish for what's readily available. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many people were on this dock fishing for big striper and cobia and things like that, and th those fish just weren't going to be in town for another couple of weeks yet. So instead, you know, grab some gear. Uh, you could see fish hunting down some silver sides. We got a nice little slam there there's a lizard fish a gar some blue fish a nice little unorthodox slam and uh, thank you for tuning in and if you got value out of this video please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that when i post new content you won't miss anything i'll also put a list of the equipment i like to use for a variety of fishing that you see in my videos in the description below and thank you for tuning in and i'll see everyone out on the water